everybody, it's Vanessa, and today we're going to be discussing my two-week post-op update. So last week I had kind of a little bit of a low weight loss, but this week it's been anything but low. So this week I've actually lost 13 pounds since last Thursday. Um, so my current weight this morning was 442. Last week when I weighed in on Thursday, it was 455. So that is down 17 pounds since surgery and 59 pounds down since um, the beginning of my journey in January. So I'm really happy. I'm, I, I feel like it's finally starting. I don't feel um, in pain anymore. I haven't had even like Tylenol or anything for a few days. So pain's gone. And I'm, I'm exercising every day and just going until um, I'm starting to feel a little bit of discomfort, but I'm never letting myself get to like the point of real pain or anything. Um, so I'm able to kind of start ramping that up. And I'm just really happy with it. Um, it made me feel a lot, a lot better. Like it seems like a lot of people lose around 20-ish pounds in the first couple weeks and some people have low first weeks and high second weeks and some people have high first weeks and lower second weeks but it seems to balance out to pretty much around the same um the people i'm following on instagram who um, are also you know had surgery either august 15th like i did or in the couple days around that like it, it seems like we're all kind of near the same spot so um it makes me feel really good that we're all moving forward and um i don't know it just feels so weird that this like this time in my life where i've that i've been hoping for for so long is actually it's here now and everything in my life is just going to keep getting better and better so i'm really happy um but this week has definitely not been without its struggles mentally. Um, even though, like, I'm losing weight every day and everything. Um, I, I'm sure I mentioned it last week, and I really don't hide that I have um, an eating disorder, and I have for as long as I can remember. I used to starve myself a lot, even as a little kid, um, and doing diets. Like, I did Slim Fast for the first time when I was... Um, eight and then when I was nine I wanted to be a vegetarian because I heard that vegetarians lose a lot of weight so I've always um, had a very complex relationship with food and I'm sure all of us have um, and I think that relationship is like the biggest um, mountain that we're gonna climb on this journey I mean the weight loss is pretty much inevitable um, after the surgery but the mental work is what's gonna help us keep it off once we're ma you know, maintaining and on for the rest of our lives. So I've been doing a lot of that this week. Um, I'm tracking all, all the things that I'm eating and um, I'm starting to notice um, kind of some feelings of just disordered thinking and fear associated with carbs um, where like I just don't want any like I feel guilty for each one. Um, I had um, refried beans the other day. Um, it was only I think two ounces. Um, and then like you know cheese and there was some like sauce on it. So there it was a, a meal, but the refried beans had twelve carbs in it, and it um, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was fixating on well, what else could I have eaten that wouldn't have had so many carbs in it that would have been lower. And you know, the everybody's talking about like the keto diet and it's working for a lot of people and you're never gonna hear me shame anybody about what they're doing with their body. I just know that for me, when I overhear people talking about certain diets, I internalize a lot of it and start to associate um, certain nutrients with shame. And that's what I've been doing with, with carbs. And I've never gotten, um, the closest I've gotten to 50 um, net carbs was 45 one day, but usually it's kind of in the 20s. So I'm not having an issue with them at all in terms of actual consumption or nutrition. What I'm having an issue is, is how I'm perceiving them. Um, and it's really important for me to 
to talk about that and to stay aware of the, the way I'm thinking about food and nutrition because I know myself and I know that I tend to shame myself for eating, for just in general, eating literally to survive. I feel guilty eating anything. Um, and I remember just before surgery, not being able to wait, I just couldn't wait until I didn't have to need food. Like I didn't, until I didn't feel hunger anymore because you know, when you're addicted to something like, um, alcohol or drugs or shopping or gambling, these are all things that, um, when people have addictions to them, they can cut out completely. Um, though the goal would be to cut it out completely to work on your addiction. But with food, you just can't do that. Um, when you have a bad relationship with food, you have to learn how to deal with it while continuing to partake in your addiction. And um, it can get pretty brutal sometimes. So I've I've been doing a lot of mental work this week and, um, and recognizing that even as I'm making the right choices and so my body's going to continue to get healthier and to lose weight, my mental health is of utmost importance to me. None of this is worth it if I go from being someone who is happy and confident and secure in themselves to someone who is obsessed with every calorie, with every gram of protein, with every carb. I don't want to be that person. I want to be someone who eats for nutrition, but not attaching um, value to it, like a value as um, value in who I am as a person attached to that. I can't do that. Um, that's something that I've got to stay vigilant about. Before we move on to lighter stuff, um, there was one other thing um, with my mental health that I wanted to mention. Um, and you'll see something about this in an Instagram post I'm planning on making tomorrow. But um, I have, like I said at the beginning of this video, I've lost 59 pounds. Um, and I just can't see it. And that is something that um, people who are, their starting weights were over 400 pounds, um, maybe 300, I don't know, but I can tell you for sure people over 400 pounds, um, certain it's something you can relate to that, um, you have to lose a significant amount of weight before you notice, before anybody else notices. And it's a little discouraging, not very much, honestly, but it's just, well, no, not discouraging. It's annoying because like I've worked my ass off. <laughs> I've lost 59 pounds. And um, I was just talking to my wife the other day. And I'm just like, I just don't see it. Um, I was down 57 pounds at the time. And I was like, I don't, I just, I don't see anything. I don't see any difference. I looked at our wedding pictures from last year. We got married on November 2nd of last year. And um, I know that I've lost so much weight since then. But I just couldn't really see the difference. And she said that you could tell a big difference in my face. Um, and she showed me pictures and that's what I'm gonna post tomorrow. Um, and I, you can't tell in my face, but I'm like, I didn't have 59 pounds lost in my face. So somewhere else on my body, this disappeared. Um, and that's where measurements come in. I have lost, I think it's like 23 or some, some odd inches or something, but like, I just can't wait to be able to see it. That is what I am really looking forward to. I want to be able to look at my wedding pictures and see, just see a different person. That's what I'm, I'm so excited for. And I know I'll get there, just not there yet. Um, so on to happier things. So um, last week uh, I talked about one of my goals being to um, get some more walking in, which I definitely got more exercise in this week, but it wasn't formal like taking walks around my neighborhood like I'd been doing before. It wasn't, um, I did go, I think that was this week, I did go to the park and walk a full lap around the park that um, it, it was a, a big lap. So I did do that, but mostly I've just been getting out of the house every day and moving. So um, this next week, I'm going to focus more on um, actual walking and everything. But um, I did set some goals because I went to my two-week post-op appointment um, with my surgeon. He said everything is great. Um, when I was, I had a, um, 
I had an ultrasound done back in um, the early part of the year, maybe March at the latest, it might have been February even, um, which was a part of my surgical program, and it, uh, I was diagnosed with fatty liver disease, which is the only health problem that I have. I'm perfectly healthy otherwise. Um, and my surgeon told me that when he um, you know, went in and did the surgery and they tested my liver, I have a perfectly health healthy liver now. I don't have fatty liver disease anymore. So although I can't see that 59 pounds yet, it clearly already worked because before I even had the surgery and lost this last 17 pounds, I got rid of the one health problem I had. So that's really awesome. Um, but I told him that I also wanted to do a 5K um, in October, I'm sorry, in November, and wanted to see if he thought that would be okay. And he thought that I'd be ready for it even before then. So um, my wife and I are both going to do um, a 5K in the early part of November, and then we're going to do a turkey trot, which is two miles um, on Thanksgiving Day. And I am so excited. I've never done anything like that, and I've always wanted to. My mom has multiple sclerosis, and I always wanted to do a walk for MS, and never was, you know, certainly was never in a physical ability to do that. I'm going to walk the 5K and the um, and the turkey trot. My wife's going to jog slash run it, but I'm just excited that I've got a goal to focus on, a physical goal to focus on that I'll be able to achieve in such a short period of time before, um, you know, the end of the year. So that's really exciting. Um, the other thing I, you know, I posted on Instagram the picture of the my weight loss jars, and I just wanted to show you guys in person. Um, so this is the left jar and this is the lost jar. So I want to lose, no, not I want to lose. I will be losing after all this is said and done 329 pounds. That would put me at 175 pounds and I am gonna do it. So um, I have lost 59 pounds. So there are 59 little shiny balls in here that I love so much. And then uh, whatever the remainder is in here, I don't know what it is. Um, not that great at math. So anyway, um, I got both these jars for $6 each at Michael's. Um, and then I got the um, little pom-poms from their craft aisle, like their kid craft aisle. Um, I I spent $24 total on both of these and I had a 40% off coupon for one of the items. So I'm sure, I'm absolutely certain if I had like gone to Goodwill for the jars and then Walmart for the pom-poms, I could have spent a lot less money, but I just was already kind of physically exhausted. So I just wanted to go one place, but I wanted to show you guys in person it is the funnest thing to do every day when I see I've lost weight to like go and pick a ball and move it to the other one. It's the little thing, you know, the little things. But anyway, um, oh, okay. Last thing I want to talk about was goals for next week. So, um, now I'm certain I definitely want to start walking more every single day, um, to, in order to get ready for the 5k I've got a program I'm doing to be able to walk 5k so I need to start out for the first week walking 15 minutes four days a week so that is going to be my physical goal for the week my uh, mental goal for the week is going to be to um, adjust my mental talk about carbs specifically um, and maybe even do some research into them scientifically so maybe I, if I can just start to see them as less of a an attribute of a diet and more of just a new a nutritional element then maybe I can start to quiet that that voice of shame in my head I don't know we're gonna give it a try so that's what I'm gonna be working on for the next week um, thank you for watching I really appreciate it if any of you have Instagrams that um, follow your weight loss journeys and I'm not following them please tell me in the comments below because I want to be following you anybody who genuinely is taking the time to watch a video like this I want to be interacting with you um, and on your journey too so if you could leave that down below and if you thought about filming videos and keeping like video updates of your um, progress or if you already have can you let me know that too because I would god I just want to have a community to lose this weight with to really stay accountable to and with so anyway that's it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.